All right, so I'm gonna do real quick the secret of cleaning your face. I mean, you see, I see guys cleaning their face just with like all kinds of freaking crappy soap and dial soap or whatever freaking soap they have laying around. And uh, you know, that's okay, I guess, if your face is disgustingly dirty. But this is what I do for before I go to bed. I do this every single night. And uh, what you do is, what you're gonna need first of all is a couple of rags. If you have a big terry cloth, like a salon towel, that'll work way better. But, and then some rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is made from rose hip. Um, it's a skincare thing that they've been using, uh, skincare, organic skincare, they've been using for centuries. I mean, you know. So, what you're gonna do with this is, and your towels, so you're gonna get your towel, and I, I always use two of them because these are just crappy towels, all right? And I get two of them because it's gonna absorb a little bit more water, all right? Keep them right there ready. Then turn your sink on. I'll keep it on low so it's, well, we'll just do that in a minute, but first, you get two pumps of this or three pumps or whatever, okay, and spray it in the palm of your hand. It smells like roses, by the way. And rub it in to your face. Your face, you'll notice, will have this like this orangey glow of shininess. Maybe a little more. On your eyes, under the socket. And just rub it in there. Then you're gonna get your water on your sink, and not warm, I mean the hottest your sink can go. Okay, the hottest your sink can possibly go. Ooh, it's hot. So yeah, not warm, like the hottest you can get your sink. Get your towels, your rags, soak them. Ooh, they're hot. Shit. They gotta be hot though, or it's not gonna work right. All right, then you're gonna get them and mold them to your face. Mold it around your eyes. And keep it there until the rugs aren't hot anymore. Then you'll see whew, most of the oil will be left on the rag, but your face will still have this like, you know, shiny look to it. So then you're gonna get another one, clean rag, dry, fold it, and roll it. You don't ever dry your face and with a rag and rock. that's not how you dry your face. You dry it and you roll it. That's how you dry your face. You roll the rag. Don't tear up your skin. And then under the eyes. That's it. That's how you clean your face. So don't ever get a rag and just, like, rub the shit out of your face. That's bad. Clean up here a little bit. Then, now if you want to take it an extra step, that's, that's all you do. I do that every single night. If you want to take an extra step, they consider this finger the softest finger um, on 
of your fingers. Then you take, I take a little bit, put it on that finger. Okay. And just apply it on the bags under your eye. On both sides. Now the best thing to do for bags under your eyes is obviously get more sleep. But what this will do is promote circulation and it will heal that skin that's under your eye. And it will make it, they won't look so baggy. Actually you will wake up in the morning and be like wow, it really does work well. Because um, what it does is it helps circulate that skin there and, and you know, it helps it. So, you do that, and then, uh, if it's a little too much, because when you're sleeping, it'll, like, leak in your eye, and you'll wake up with itchy eyes. So, you don't want to do that. So, you want to make sure you get any extra that you have, maybe, away from your, your socket. And, like, if you have these bruises, these deep bruises, that are, like, in that part of your eye, um, it'll work for that, too. Now, if your eyes are really baggy, mine's aren't too bad, but if your eyes are really baggy, then obviously you probably just need to get more sleep. But, um, you know, and then I'll just, I'll just go to bed and I'll do that every single night. And after about a week of doing that, you'll really start to notice, like, those bags start to fade away. Your, your, my, my face just looks way better. And then obviously there's other stuff like the Kiehl's cream and stuff, and we're going to go over in a different review. But um, that is just a real quick uh, way to clean your face if you guys are looking for a way to clean your face every night. No shame in it. You know, you want to stay young looking, and healthy face, rose hip oil, and that's how you do it. Because uh, you want to open up the pores, that's why I use the hot water. And, you know, that stuff will get all in there and it, it really works. So, anyway, that's it guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Peace.